The Lord does work in mysterious ways. He giveth and he taketh away. So it was with my freedom. In my years alone, in that dark place, I would often hear a voice calling to me from within. You are my chosen one, Jebediah. You are my child, here to do my bidding. Truly, I believe there would be no escape from the demon inside me. I wasn't even a real preacher. I was an evangelist, rejected by the church. I didn't have the strength to fight the demon alone. But one day, I was given a chance for salvation. His name was Calypso. He came to me with a proposition. If I won his contest, he would reveal the truth. It had been two years since the beast had entered my mind, controlling my actions, making others believe I was responsible for those killings. But now I had a second chance. I accepted the offer willingly. All I had to do was win, and a path back into the light would be opened unto me. It is wondrous indeed how his mind will find shelter in memories of the past. I thought back to that fateful night. I had been approached by a young couple who brought to me their child. I was to perform one of my most important duties, an exorcism. But the beast was too powerful, even as I ministered to the child. The demon brought its foul influence upon me and entered my mind. My soul was trapped. All I could do was cry out inside as I tore that church apart. The demon's hatred raged all around, killing everyone in the church. Countless millions of years, it had been hounded by the warriors of God. And now, it was going to make me pay. And then, the creature abandoned me, right when I needed it the most. Get your hands in the air! Do it! Do it now! Every waking hour since, I've feared the demon. But now I have a second chance. When I win this contest, I know the Lord will welcome me back with open eyes. over the darkness. I visited Calypso. It was time for him to prove my innocence and clear my name. And yet, he seemed hesitant. I made no promise to clear your name, he said. I only promised to show you the truth. And the truth, he said, was that the demon wasn't real. The voice inside me was a figment of my imagination. My God, it was all in my mind. The exorcism? It wasn't an exorcism at all. It was simply a baptism. It was judgment day in that church, and I was the angel of death. The truth had been delivered indeed, but not by God, but by Calypso. He was right. I was, as they say, insane. My whole life I'd been trying to silence that voice. I even performed rituals to show my loyalty to God in hopes that he would save me. But nothing worked. A man cannot hide from himself. There is only one path before me. 